Hi and welcome. I'm Tulima Kubane, host of My Money and Me and director of Minfresh Advisory Services. We have finally picked a business to work with for the month of April and it's called All Procurement and Logistics for Africa. And we're here in Jet Park to come and see the premises and meet the staff. And they're in the logistics business and I'll be working with them in terms of finding opportunities to grow their business. So let's go inside and get to meet Pierre and the team. Pierre, it's great to be finally at your premises. So we've come to see your business, meet your staff, and get a better understanding of what you do. And just let us know where are you based, like physically, so that just to establish context for people well, watching. Well, Tilly, we actually um, chose this particular premises because it's like seven minutes away from Owatambo International Airport. Mm -hmm. We're in an industrial area, so there's quite a lot of business that's going on in these areas. Where we are is Jet Park, okay. it falls under Gauteng, mm. and then hopefully in the near future it's going to fall under the Aerotropolis as well. Mm. Hi, I'm Andre, I've been with the company for about five years now. I mostly deal with the operations, uh, checking the cargo, uh, measuring, making the booking, speaking to the shipping lines, airlines, making sure that the cargo arrives and goes out as it needs to be. Um, challenging part, getting airlines to actually reply to you on time and keeping your client happy. And uh, dealing with transporters can be challenging at some time, especially when the trucks aren't available. And that's basically the short and sweet of what we do here. Yeah, we've got, obviously, we've got a few shipments that uh, come into the warehouse, and then we obviously need to keep it until the clients let us know that we're ready to ship. At the back of the warehouse there we've got some crates that is going to a mine in Russia which is waiting for our clients in the States to let us know that we've got everything, everything's in order, all documentation is ready and done. Once they give us the okay we'll obviously send it down to Durban by truck and then it goes on to a vessel as a loose container load shipment. We basically offer our clients a bit of a storage facility as well because we know they always not everything is going to come together at one date or one specific time, so we keep the goods here. As you can see, we've got some stuff here, which uh, we've been keeping in the warehouse for about two or three months. The client has now notified us that we've got everything that she's purchased. So within the next week, two weeks, uh, we'll actually be packing a container for her, and that'll be going down to Durban via road freight as a full container load, and then from there onto the ship and into West Africa. We've had an opportunity to get to know all procurement and logistics for Africa. We've gotten to see their business, their operation, gotten to speak to their staff, and I've actually spent time as well uh, with Pierre and his staff in terms of getting to understand the business and looking for ways how I can assist them in growing the business and identifying some growth uh, opportunities for them. We've looked at potential revenue streams uh, for them because I've found that the margins in their business are way too low. And though their revenue is good, when it comes down to the profit margins are very low. So it's great to add additional revenue streams where the margins um, can be boosted up. So what we've looked at is a Forex solution. I've had NetBank come in, spend time with them explain how the forex um, hedging works and for them to start using that solution to save money uh, in the rent dollar exchange because in their business they get quoted in in dollars a lot and they can actually use the same solution for their clients as well in, in terms of paying the invoices on behalf of the clients and they can make a small margin over there and as well looking at offering insurance uh, to their clients is another revenue stream. And then going into totally something different, I mean, they're already importing and exporting goods for others, so they're looking at potentially importing some 4x4 accessories because Pierre is a 4x4 enthusiast, so it's something that he's passionate about and he can start making money from that. And of course, being in South Africa, you can't run away from BEE. And so we're looking at a potential BE transaction for Pierre. We've announced it on the radio. We are looking for a potential BE partner for him. And we hope that the next six months, Pierre will be working on that. And when we come back to visit his business, we'll meet his BE partner. And also, 
we've looked at the use of technology. Uh, the business is somehow manually run, which is a challenge. Um, they do have limited stuff. And if they're going to be growing the business, you need some kind of technology, a system that's going to help them to run the business effectively. So we've sat down with some business analysts, looked at their processes, and they'll be presenting them with potential solutions. So that's where we're at uh, with Pierre and looking forward to coming back to his business six months later and seeing where they're at.